What do you find your biggest, I guess, inspiration or biggest event or what it was that changed you where you said you started living and you stopped being that angry person that kind of was a victim that hated the world or hated people or wanted to fight people? Yeah, um, yeah, I know the I know the turning point, and it was um, I met my partner uh, that I'm still with now, Porto Um and we had we met when we were 18, 19, or we got together when we were 18, 19. We've known each other since primary school, but um, we had a young son, and we were together, and we were having trouble. We were about to to break up, and both of us had pretty troubled childhoods, and we're like, we really want to try. We don't want to be that single family parent you know parents and we'll try everything and we're like let's go to cancelling and we were only 23 i think at this stage and we went to cancelling like a marriage counselor and you had a kid at this point we had a kid yeah yeah, yeah. we had uh, our first boy uh i just i was 19 and i my, uh, sorry i just turned 20 and my wife was 19 when he was born um how was that perspective shift when that all oh man that that started that was the start of it all. That was the start of a lot of it. Was like, hang on, like I'm starting to get some understanding of being a dad and looking at the world differently. Was the very start of my mindset changing. I still was a bit, you know, I still was angry and still had all these issues of blaming my dad or the, what happened to me, you know. And um, yeah, it wasn't really too. We went to see a, a counselor about our relationship and. Um, as we were leaving, the counsellor was like, hey, you've got a really interesting story. Like, I think you should come back yourself. Like, you know, I think you've got some issues you need to sort out, you know. And I went back in. It was so foreign for me. And being so young too, it was like, yeah, I don't need a counsellor and fuck this and, you know, all that. And um, I went back in and seen this guy. It was a guy. And he just listened. And he said, hey, man, you've had a hard life. And it was the first time someone had listened to me and said, I understand, you know, like you're not alone. You should, you know, you've got reasons to be feeling like this, you know. And it was just like I walked out of there and it was like the world had been lifted off my shoulders. I was just like, holy shit, you know. And, and I remember him saying, it's like you can't move forward when you're blaming the past for what's happening to you and not being accountable. Like, And it was just like this light bulb moment. It was like, all right, I'm going to use everything that's ever happened to me bad or bad that's happened to me, or whatever, all this stuff, I'm going to use it, and use see the positive out of it, and then started changing, and that was just like, what you see now, what I am now, reverse that 180 degrees is what I used to be, you know, so. Pain yeah. can be fuel, hey. It is, and I've had these realisations over my life of stuff still going, you know, like hitting rock bottom, and now I look at it and go, okay, what can I learn out of this? What can I get as motivation? How is this going to make me a better person, you know, instead of playing the victim? Mm. It's like, all right, sweet. What's the lesson I need to learn out of this? And as I've got older, I've realised that a lot of this stuff has happened and now I can be someone that people can lean on. You know, I've had a lot of traumatic incidences and, and you know, stuff like that. And now I literally know my purpose in life is to help people along this journey, you know, help men as well. Like, um, it's a big thing is men don't know that, you can talk about it and then it's okay to talk about it and be vulnerable and, and be open and emotional and passionate. Um, so, yeah, now I know, I literally know what I'm here mm. to do and live life to the fullest and, and help as many people along as I can and, and share the journey with other epic humans. And being vulnerable like that, it releases that trauma or stress out of your body and that's a powerful, like you say, you can't live to your full potential if you're holding on to something that's holding you back. And I had an example of the holding on to stuff and I've been open about it like a heap of times. But when I was younger, like small country town, very isolated, very lonely, very bullied, all that kind of stuff. And when I was about 11 or 12, I tried to commit suicide and held on to that my entire life until I was 24 or something. And I don't know if you know Jace McAlpine, he runs a podcast called Gypsy Tales. Yep. So yeah. I had this real profound moment and... I had gotten back to the happiest I've ever been and I just felt these new emotions of happiness that I'd never felt before. I was just like, I achieved goals in my career. I was around good people. Life was just shining so bright. And I had this urge to like share that I went from that lowest point where I didn't want to be alive to now all I want to do is live. And it was like that thing about, I want to show people that you can go from here to here. Mm. And that, that took me 14 years to get from a point A to point B and I came up here, went on his podcast, opened up, got vulnerable and the outpouring of people that were just like, oh man, you've helped me in my life. You've helped me see better. Like 
I always saw you as this big, happy person, personality. And now to see that you went through that and you've come back to here, it's like, it gives people hope. Yeah. Because it gives them hope that where they are right now, no matter where that is in their life, they can come from that and become something better. And I think people are in a certain point, they get stuck in that, well, he's this person or he's like this. And it's like, no, 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 no. We all start, not all of us, but a lot of us start in a really bad place and have to put in a lot of work. And it's just, sh- it's like almost giving people the permission to go, you can be there and still get way better than you could ever imagine. Yeah. And I think that's what you were saying there. It's like you had to go through all that shit, but by doing that, you become more useful because you become a tool to help other people go through the similar stuff. Do you feel like that's oh, like... 100%. And it keeps going. Like I, <laughs> I thought I was the happiest I'd been and everything's good and then went back down again and got my ass kicked again and then even got into that mood like, whoa, why me? And... You know, why does this keep happening? It always happens to me and started, you know, getting into that victim mindset and then had a, another big realisation or another change and then it was like, whoa, hang on, I need this. I obviously need to become stronger and, you know, um, yeah, so it does keep happening. But, yeah, it's so nice just to speak to people and hear their stories and a lot of people have amazing stories but are too, I don't know if the word scared or... I don't even know what the, the word is or why people don't share it. Maybe it doesn't look right. I or think that – I know I was scared. I yeah. was scared about the – not I don't know if it was judgment, but just how it was going to be perceived. Mm. But it was like a weight off my shoulder. I felt lighter. Yeah. I felt like, oh. You do, yeah. Now 100%. I can be me. It was just like I had this want to get it out there because I was like, oh, like I've been, I've been carrying this around for so long. Yeah. And just to let that out, you feel – just yourself oh the therapy is incredible yeah i remember when i first started talking about mentioning depression you know like every same thing everyone a lot of people see me as this big happy guy living life to the fullest and strong and you know big tattooed strong and all this and man like i was you know getting dark you know many times and i started speaking about it and then people started reaching out and saying hey man thank you so much and um you know it really does when you see that you can impact people's lives by just being yourself and just speaking the truth it's so powerful and 